Hey, folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. Today we're checking out Extra Season 1, Episode 5, Samuel Jackson. So, cool. No research. I think everybody who has a TV knows who Samuel Jackson is. The dude is in commercials. He's in movies. He's in, the dude is in everything. He don't really... Don't, he even mentioned that he don't turn down too many jobs. Like, he, if it's work, it's work. So, he's mentioned that before. So... At least I, I know about him. I didn't have to look him up or anything. And I think the last the the last gentleman I looked up from the previous episode, everything I read about him and the videos stuff I watched didn't really help with the episode. If you know what I mean, none of the jokes really were centered around anything I read or watched. So I won't say it's a waste of time. I, I think whenever you learn something, it's never like a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't really learn anything that really helped with like deciphering any jokes or anything. So let's go to jump into this one, folks, and we will talk about it in the end. For God's sake! You bloody yanks are all the same. You walk around like a John Wayne, then leave us to clean up your mess! Tell him Uncle Sam's in town. Ah, uh, we cut there, thank you. Check the gate, we're moving on. <laughs> Sarge, those lads keep saying afternoon constable, but making it sound like, you know what? What will I do to him? Can I eat him? No. If I was a real copper, though, I'd get ready like that. I would. And I don't... It's all right, it's only hairspray. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, I'm Maggie, by the way. Uh, Dan. Hi, Hi. Dan. Maggie. Look, I can't really talk now, I have to... Um... Oh, no, sorry, you go, go and do your thing. So I just, I just want Why? to say... What if one of them talks to me? <laughs> well, they're only human. He's not. <laughs> Two minutes, so right? Oh, so yeah. The dude did. Incredible, eh? Huh? Mr. Samuel L. Jackson in our midst. No, I'm not Sam Jackson. See the confusion? We look alike, but. Oh. 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 I'm it Goldie. I used to support Spurs, and uh, when we used to meet, we'd have a chat and a laugh. Yeah. Why know? are you telling me this? Well, we used to have a laugh. You know? oh, yeah. We'd have a chat and a laugh every time. Oh, okay. And uh, one day, a couple of kids right there messing around in his shop, and he uh, checked bleach in his eyes and uh, blinded him. Um, I need someone to do a few lines sometime next week. Probably not until Tuesday. It's uh, an officer in an ID parade. You interested in that? I don't mind. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. No, um, I was already seen. I was on the desk when Sam Jackson walked past. Oh, yeah? No, I can't use you then. Sorry, mate. I need someone who hasn't been seen. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. The line was Sam Jackson. Cheers for that. Eh? Huh? I owe you one. Yeah. Hey, if it was a favour, don't worry. Just take me up one night. Let's go and eat on the other bus. Why? Well, no, for no reason. Don't need a reason. Just let's do something out of the ordinary once in a while. Yeah, right. Well, Bit of a break from the old routine and all that. Huh? my entire career on the colour of my voucher. No, I'm sure you've had major roles in other things. It hasn't. Shut up. <laughs> I can't let you on here. Okay? Me. Sure. There's no one on though. Can I just eat it and go? I'll be five minutes. I can't allow no, it. No, you can't allow you it. You can't come on here. Okay. Pig. Broken heart in the end. Still, it's a wonderful gift that. Laughter. <laughs> yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. As well. Anyway, I've got a. That's weird about all the mates having a meal together. Well, we're not really friends. That's yeah, but my that's point. how we would become friends. You see, we go for a meal. But I go out for meals with people that are already friends. I don't go to people willy nilly and go, "All right, mate, I don't know you from Adam, but do you want to go to Butlins for the weekend? You might be a mental case, but let's find out. It's mad." You don't want to be his friend. You can't. It's too damning. You can't say that to someone. That, that is saying that you fundamentally have a problem with their personality. Well, what are you going to do? The only honourable thing I can do. What? Add him to the long list of people that I have to avoid for the rest of my life. But you are an actress. What are you talking about? You've got your own bus there, and we've got our own bus. I'm yeah, not allowed in yours. You're not allowed in mine, but you can come on. On you go. <laughs> No, this is pathetic. Yes, I know it is pathetic, isn't it? But you can't come on. <laughs> he 
He doesn't think you're a racist. He does. He's just seen me say to a black woman, you're not allowed to sit in this bus. It's like that whole racism in a bus incident all over again. The Rosa Parks incident? It wasn't in a park. It was in a bus. Well, you stick to your own. There is that test I can give you. Taste. The racism test, the one they give you when you join the council to make sure you're not a racist. It's a. Uh, I've never heard uh, of it. Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Just ten go, questions. Go on, then. Yeah. Um, right, you've got to answer just totally honestly, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> no, I can't say anything till the end. Just. Right. Um, question two. This is about racial awareness because often you catch out a real racist because they don't know or care about any black issues. Um, who's the prime minister of Great Britain? Twenty-second. Correct. Who is the president of Digibooty? <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. I've never even heard of blooming digi booty. Oh, please do not read your totally valid African language, please. Right, next question. Racist. Well, I'm just going by the Listen test. Listen to me, I'm scores. trying to get off with a black person. Yes, but according to you, you wouldn't want him waiting for you in your house when you got home tonight. Only because I would go, how did you get in here? Oh, now he's breaking and entering as well. <laughs> That's it. Right, totally amazing, and I'm going out for a drink with him. When? Tonight. Well done. Actually, I'm a little bit nervous about this date. Racist. Did you get my plate? No. Aww. Quick. This is buried you, right in the graveyard next to the studio we're working at there. Handy. Right. That's why we're going. I'll see you later. Do you mind if I come with you or? Why would I? Come on. <laughs> 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 How does that make you then? At least 52. F 52. You're 52? Two. Don't look at one bit. No, thanks. Hard to believe, isn't it? Just like it's hard to believe that we were just passing my dead. But old Malevich didn't listen. No. Mm, and here I am, 52 and Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Well, why'd you change your surname then? Just, well, well fed up life. with the persecution. The usual story, isn't it? Mm. Enough is enough. Proud race. Is this, and this is fun for you, is it? That is not your mother's grave. Oh, no. And I don't think you're Jewish. No, she pointed to that. And well, I... Why do you keep lying to me? You can't no, bear to sit opposite all, me, but it's... a little nibble on a bit of food right. in my company, the other side I of the table. I meal with you. It yeah. be well, I know I'm not the joker of the pack. That's nothing to do with yeah? that. Yeah, all right, no. I might not be able to do that. That's too far. I'm reliable. No. I'm reliable. Look, if I say I'll be somewhere, I'm there. I know, and I, God, I, you know. I, I'm quite happy. Oh. Oh, oh, no, it's not. Come on. <laughs> Louise, 13. Karen, 10. It's just a golly wo toy. A golly toy. A what? A golly toy. Oh, don't worry about that, though. I mean, I have had Sam with some Sam no. Sindbad since I was about six or seven. He's been in the family for years, so, I mean, that's harmless. Oh, 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 I think oh. I want to shoot off. Oh, no, no, really? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's, it's totally cool. I just think the black thing's getting in the way here. No, it's not. It's no, not. No, no, don't worry. I don't think you're a racist or anything. I just think that, you know, it's on your mind and you can't get past Dinner. it. Dancing. Definitely. I love dancing, me. Hey, <laughs> do you? Are you you good dancer? Are you, not that there's any reason why you should be a good dancer. Jesus Christ. I have to. I want to I go. Uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> Try that. No, what are you doing? Listen to that. What? Hippo. Ah, oh. listen to this, right? Ah, oh, I can't do this. Sorry. I can't go through this. I'm so fed up. And I, I'm 43 years old, and most people my age are out with their wives or their girlfriends. I'm lower on the chain than you. How do you think that makes me feel? And I'm not having a go at you, cos I'm sure you're a nice bloke. I know you're a nice bloke, but I've got to go, mate, because I'm actually depressed. Wait, wait, I just like that. It's two tickets for the Ben Elton musical. We will rock you. I've really had it with us. I'm so fed up. Well, it'll be all right. What will? People always say that. What will be all right? When will it be all right? 
I'm 43. I've got nothing. Not of advice. If you get the most amazing, gorgeous, good-looking black guy in the world back at your house, don't leave your gollywog lying around. <laughs> That's remarkable advice. Cheers. No, and then he caught me trying to hide it, which made matters worse. Why did you try and hide it? I didn't want to offend Then say you don't, you know. It's yeah. not being racist, it's having an opinion. It's going to have a wee word with him now, eh? Aye, going to have a wee word with him. Hi. Hey. All right, well, even if you did like it, I would still hate it. What sort of music do you like? Well, I like jazz. I hate jazz. I hate it. Do you, in fact, do you know who I really hate in jazz? You know that big fat black man, him with the, his big fat puffed out cheeks and his bulging out eyes? And I, mean, I, I don't normally watch films more than once, but I thought The Matrix, I, I loved oh, it. Oh no, no. Amazing. <laughs> Good film, that's all she's saying. Yes. And you were brilliant in it. Oh. I wasn't in that. <laughs> wasn't it? There you were. She knows. You know? She doesn't. She's not. She's not racist. No, Definitely sir. no way. She's not racist. In fact, she's been trying to get a black guy to shag her for a few weeks. So I don't think she specifically. But I mean, <laughs> it's open to all. Not all. That but I mean, one. you definitely. This is terrible. Pulp Fiction. This is terrible. Are you ready for the next shot? Yeah, are we ready. Yeah. What are they doing? What are they? Keeping him waiting. You know, talk... Okay, Rob. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. Just, it's my hat. Is that yeah. Oh. yeah, that's it. Another good day being friends with you. <laughs> for the man, steak for the sun, wine for the woman who made the rain come. That was good, man. That was a really good one. I enjoyed that one a lot. Samuel Jackson was barely in it. He's just like, you know, that last little um, part. I mean, being directly involved with them, he was like, like I said, barely in it. But the rest of it was hilarious, man. That was fantastic. People who try the hardest not to be racist are the ones who usually sometimes come off as offensive because they're trying to, but they're trying though, man. They're trying. Uh, <laughs> and she was trying. Like, it is what it is. So, I've, I've met several people like that who didn't actually grow up. And it's not your fault. You know what I mean? There's people I've met who just never grew up around black people, don't know people in their schools, all the jazz, and they come to like a, like an, an area like whether it's like a Chicagoland area or over over here and the first black people they meet are like at a job like there are people who worked at Walmart like the first black people they actually were around was at Walmart so they didn't they 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 kind of like you know walk around on eggshells because they don't know what's the right or wrong thing to say kind of like what, what Ricky Gervais said like when he was like you just talk about stuff it don't really matter the race like you can have your own opinion and there are people. There's just some people who just they don't know exactly what to do because they never go around anybody, and they don't. They want. They're so worried they're gonna make a mistake that they can't even make friends. So then they still end up just somewhat segre um, segregating themselves, like like keeping themselves separate away from other people because they just don't. Know, they they feel like they're gonna slip up and say something stupid, um, which sucks, man. Like you really can't help. If they're trying. At the end of the day, if somebody's trying, that's all you can ask for, man. You cannot be mad at somebody when they're trying. So. Uh, this is funny. I really enjoyed this. This was a really good episode. Man, Maggie, like both of them, dude, they just, <laughs> the situation they're in. All right, guys, that is all for this one, man. Uh, this was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.